and just give you guys a little uh, demo about uh, the GeoVision and how the ICE monitor is working with the GeoVision uh, DVR system. Um, we got a little setup here with two um, IP cameras. We just got them, you know, facing the terminals uh, just to show you guys what's going on. Uh, and then here I have my DVR box with my monitor. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I've got the GeoVision on the screen right here. Um, I've got it set up to where um, I'm just right now we got two terminals of course so the two cameras are just monitoring those. Um, so I'm just going to minimize this and what we're using uh, from iControl the uh, software they wrote is the ICE monitor. Um, so we go ahead and start it up. And this allows us to use our uh, video footage. We can tie in a live feed and also we can run queries and look at each individual terminal or all terminals at the same time pulling in video fo or uh, XML footage from one terminal. So I'll show you guys a little bit how that works. I'm going to maximize this. Um, so I have my two cameras and I'm just going to set one up. So I'm actually pulling feed in and watching in real time right here. And uh, if you could just keep on this. I'm going to actually bring something up so we can get the text overlay. Just bring in some items. So here you're actually getting the text overlay from the terminal. Um, pretty simple. And then uh, you have, uh, in the black, you have the um, items that were ordered. And in the blue, you have the actual functions that can be queried. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, so I can actually go in and I can switch cameras. And now I can go in and ring in and watch what's being wrong on my other terminal. Um, also, as I mentioned, you can actually um, set up multi cameras, which only have two cameras, so I'm going to select those. And I can watch both of my terminals at the same time, and I can choose which terminal that I want and which. Uh, so, here on this terminal here, I'm going to actually get the text overlay over here. So, and you can easily swap terminals. So now I'm going to pull in the feed from my other terminal with the text overlay. No, this is actually free from Comcast. So it's all pretty simple. Um, and then also you can run queries. Um, so I can either minimize this, keep it open, or I can just close out while I'm still running. Um, and we have to, of course, set up where the G, uh, GeoVision uh, software is always running in the background for ICE Monitor to work. Um, so I'm just going to run a query. Um, you got several different options here. We can do a quick search, search with the save filter, or do a new search. Um, you have some options here. You can um, do queries over, you know, months, days, weeks, um, or just I'm just going to do one for today. And you can name it. Um, let's say ringing in um, and then you can choose your events um, you can pretty much query against any event that is pulling from PosiTouch as you can see here you can do by all uh, comps check payments just any type punch in punch out uh, shut down send orders um, and also if you have if you choose say a say disc discount you can actually choose from the uh, user's database which discount you're actually querying. Or if you just choose discount, it'll run a query against all discounts. Um, so here I'm just going to run. Um, and then, of course, you can save these queries and you can come back to them later and continue to run them. But I'm just going to run it and I get an option here. Um, and I click on that and play the footage. Um, actually going to do an all here so this will query all items you can do also if you do um, comps 
you can choose the items or the uh, major categories. I'm not going to choose that. Um, you can actually choose uh, greater than, different uh, increments of amounts, greater than or equal to. You can enter amounts and it pulls in the time and attendance data too. So I can choose which employee or if it's a manager. And um, if I run, well, let me run a query here. Um, I'm just going to choose all and run this. And it pulls in everything that's been done. You can see here the exact times, um, the check number. And also, um, since I chose all, it's giving me all. And it will show you by which um, um, item I can query under as well. So if I go down here and just pull in live footage, if I want to see what someone's done here, I can just say click on one. And we've got it preset to 15 seconds before. So it'll actually start um, 15 seconds before. And I've kind of been uh, testing and starting over along the way here, so let me find one that's good. So we're starting 15 seconds before the time. So when, it'll actually highlight in blue exactly and follow along with me once it hits that buffer. So, um, find another one here. Say, footage. It's doing an order item, and as soon as it hits the time, it'll start moving down with the cursor, following what you're doing. 